So the first thing you need to think about when you are considering remodeling your bathroom is I would break it down by the spaces used in the bathroom. You know, you have your vanity area, you have your shower, you have your tub, you have your water closet, uh, your toilet region. I'd start by thinking about the toilet. It's something that a lot of times is kind of an afterthought. Oh, we'll just go to a big box store and buy the $100 toilet there and be done with it. I would encourage you to put a little bit more thought into it. You know, for our clients, I make sure that the toilets meet a few certain criteria. Number one, and I'm sorry about this, but it needs to flush the first time. Not 10 flushes later, not after you pump it to death with a plunger, but it needs to flush once. Sounds silly, but you know what? A lot of toilets are crummy. Number two, needs to be comfortable. So you can buy it at normal height, uh, which is great for children, or you can buy comfort height, which is a little taller and more appropriate for adults. So I see a lot of seats that are plastic and you kind of sit on them and it's like the seat slides right off and you're kind of sitting sideways on the toilet. Don't buy a cheap, crummy plastic seat. Buy a seat that when you put it down and you sit on it, it's going to stay there. A good seat probably also won't stain as much for your spray tan on your booty. So make sure it's a good seat, something that's easy to clean. Soft clothes. You know what? You shouldn't have to gently press the toilet seat down or the lid or anything. Um, You should be able to just to close it and it does its own magic. Maintenance. You know, toilets should be cleaned, I think, regularly. And so when you're buying a toilet that has a poor design, it might have a lot of nooks and crannies, whether it's under the seat or around the bowl or wherever that are really difficult to clean. Get a toilet that when you're looking at it, it's like, oh, I can spray it with bleach and I can wipe it once and I can be clean with it versus having to get a toothbrush and clean all sorts of nooks and crannies all over it. You know, it can look nice. You can get a lot more technical. You can have one that salutes you when you walk in and the seat opens. Even a light that will clean the underside of you because it has a sanitizing light to shine on everything to make sure everything is nice and sterile. You can go nuts with that. You can spend tens of thousands of dollars on the toilet if you want to, and and I recommend you do, especially if you spend a lot of time in that room. You know what? Put a plug in there. It is common for people to use their iPhones or their iPads in the bathroom and for them to die. It's a great place to put a charger and be able to plug that while you're in there. Maybe put a stand for that as well. A fan. You know, a lot of fans, uh, they're supposed to just exhaust, but sometimes it's nice if they're extra noisy to keep things extra private. Good lighting, and I always recommend a door uh, for that added benefit of privacy in the water closet. Thanks for listening. I hope these tips were helpful. This is Stephen Sardone with Sardone Construction. Like us on Facebook. Check out our YouTube page. Go to our website, sardoneconstruction.com. Check out our blogs. Check out our videos. Check us out. We're all over the internet. I swear to God, we're everywhere.